What's up, Chancho? What's up, fool? Oh shit, you having a little jam session over here? See, I'm actually working on something. You wanna play with me? Yeah, bro, let's get it. Come on. Orale, los vamos. Come on, man, pick up that bass. Ready, ready? Follow me. Hello, my name is Chanchito. I'm here to sing to you. Una canción magnifico. Y mi amigo NTD es una pussy. And he smells like pee pee. Yes, he's nasty. Ah, chamaco, lighten up. It's a little joke. You do kind of smell sometimes, though, eh? You need to fucking wash yourself, man. What is up, my people? Welcome back for another album review. I'm your host, The Seam The Dream. And today, I will be reviewing the newest LP from rapper Blue, The Color Blue. Coming out of Los Angeles, California, rapper, producer, John Barnes III, best known as Blue, has released yet another piece of his hottest streaks of releases. Last record being Miles, the collab with Exile, which is a record I absolutely adored, I released and still adore to this day. At this point of my fair familiarity with Blue, I would say that the bar he's raised for my expectations would be at a pretty high minimum, so if his music were to ever go below that, I would be pretty unpleasantly surprised. But thankfully, it's not the case with this project. The opener of I Am Blue makes all these metaphors of things that are the color blue relative to the characters of the rapper Blue. Yet that is what we are seeing on this entire track list, each track being related to the color blue. For this track in particular, the cool bright piano stabs are very complementary to the sampling. And continuing on to the song Everyday Blues, this song in particular and the majority of the record have a lot of 50s jazz blues inspired sampling on here. A lot of the instrumentations are very nice to listen to, along with them continuously producing more wordplay with the word blue in another fashion. Continuing on to People Call Me Blue, Blue then throws it back to this West Coast style of 90s hip hop boom bap, which the track also features production work from Exile. Especially after that last LP, it's always such a good feeling for me to see these two work together. The concepts and creativity just overflows with just so much rich compassion. It's just amazing to hear these two work together. On the track Because the Skies, with the transitions from track to track have a metamorphosis when it comes to the sound itself. The song also features more sampling but with vocal performances from John Lennon, Raekwon, Guru, Ghostface, Killa, and Jai. The verses on a lot of these songs also gives a lot of abstract thoughts and concepts. But what I notice is the way that Blue delivers these bars makes it feel like you're being spoken to directly in a conversation. The song You Ain't Never Been Blue dives into appreciating what you have and making sure that you know that it can always be worse. And that in fact there's somebody in the world that has it harder than you. Then using the familiar term to snap one into reality and appreciate the little things in life. Though I do appreciate this concept, I'm not really too sure how to feel for the instrumental on this one. I'm not so sure for me if it's because of I'm not really into this particular blue style instrumental. That's my guess, but I really just don't feel the chemistry to how these rap verses cohere, but other than that, it's a quality track. Then there's a track, I Was Born To Be Blue, where John goes to mentioning how he always knew of a certain destiny to be an artist by sharing these struggles of being forced to try in things he had no interest in. At this point, you would think that the ideas of always involving something with the word blue would get kind of stale and maybe a little bit irritating, but, but no, no, that's, that no. This episodic intro to the song Blue Within Blue has an attention grabber of this kid's intro sample that sounds like some kind of jingle. Then it kind of like warps into something different. The fuse in another way kind of feels like it's being like scrunched into like a paper ball waiting to be swished into a basket. Let me be clear, I mean that in the most gangster way possible. Then after that, the song transitions into a sample of country singer Michael Johnson's Bluer Than Blue. Beautiful use of the song on here. The instrumentation and the blends just sound so amazing. Blue's verses are still on point with this one. How can you not with the creativity on the song? Like, feels like it's warped in a vortex. I'm so captivated for it. Lyrically, also has John prioritizing the care for his family. Listen, I gotta show love for the people that worked in the song. Daniel Andrew Rojo, producer Surplus, and of course, Blue himself. Phenomenal, phenomenal track. The next song we are Darker Than Blue features a great sample choice of Curtis Mayfield. Pure surge of excellence coursing through my veins. It's the small details that really matter for this track, like the sound warps that come in on every other bar. On the song Mr. Blue Sky, there's a recording of Neil deGrasse Tyson's podcast and the question is, why the sky is blue? Then transitions beautifully into another sample. So much demonstration of more thoughtful creativity from Blue. And then we get to the closer track, Blue World. On the end passages of the track, Blue reads out his respects to the dead and starts to list out people that he wishes peace in the afterlife. Some of these people including Juice World and Mac Miller. Overall, I gotta say the man has done it 
again. Continuously creates another stud of a project in hip hop that I hope gets the recognition it deserves. Maybe a Grammy nomination? Hell, just, just someone put his name on a pedestal where he should belong. He needs to be recognized already as one of the hip hop greats, if not already. The immense talent John Upholsa's work has some of the most character and taste I've heard in some of the most recent hip hop to this day. It's really hard to believe that he's just not gonna continue growing from this point and being really genuine with his music. To be the most personal with you guys, albums like this are what really make me strive to wanna do stuff like this, to really wanna share this kind of work and really wanna encourage people to please give it a try. I think artists and musicians all over the world definitely deserve recognition and definitely deserve at least a try, but artists like this who really put their heart and soul into their work really just deserve so much love back from the music community. I'm gonna give The Color Blue an 89%. I'm honestly still debating which record I like more, if I like Miles or if I like The Color Blue more. I think I would lean more towards Miles, though I think if I'm trying to go for which one I would play next, I would probably go with The Color Blue just because I feel like the length of it will be more doable, but both records are absolutely phenomenal. That is it for me, guys. As always, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. Down in the description are my separate track list ratings and also the links to my social media accounts so you can keep up with me on the daily. Also, don't forget to share the video and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.